Hi Capricorn, welcome to your October no contact love tower reading. So Capricorn, we're looking at the person on your mind, you're thinking of during this time of perhaps no communication or contact and you want to know what is going on. That's what we'll be looking at here today. So we're going to look at what caused it. How do they feel about that? How do they feel about you? What are they doing right now that you need to be aware of? And will things change? All right, Capricorn. We have the Sacred Traveler Oracle card uh, deck here. So we're going to get you some messages from this deck and then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome in, Capricorn. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. All right, Capricorn, October, no contact. Love tarot reading. Let's see what we have for you. We're going to lay these out and read them and then we're going to jump right into your reading. Choosing your path, all is possible. Narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Well, there's something definitely here about a path, the path ahead. Crossing bridges, it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Traveling lightly, simplify your life. So I feel like uh, this is someone that maybe you've been broken up with or disconnected from for a while here. And I do feel like somebody had too much baggage or they had too much going on. Um, I'm feeling like somebody here, probably the other person, had too much baggage, probably from a past relationship or family or something like that, affecting you and the connection or affecting them, which affected you and the connection. So I definitely feel like here it just, it was very constricting. That's what I'm beginning to like. I'm just seeing the energy closing and constricting and then like you can't even breathe so you know whatever happened here probably was like you know you got to choose your path you're like what are you going to do here you know maybe it was an ultimatum like me or this or this or that you know but things are too constricting it can't be this way until things open up um and a path is chosen you know simplifying like it says getting rid of baggage it's almost like the fool energy you know, there could be a chance here for crossing that bridge and uh, connecting or reconnecting, healing, mending, and releasing. So, will that bridge be crossed? We'll shall see. So, let's see. All right, Capricorn. Okay, so this seems like a reoccurring kind of theme going on with these readings. I think you're the third or fourth reading I get... Um, with people needing to release things and clear things up and get rid of some baggage or uh, burdens in their life. But let's see. All right. So Capricorn, let's see what we got going on here. We got the Spellcaster's Tarot. I'll be doing your reading with this deck. And then we'll close it out with some Archangel messages. All right. All right, Capricorn, let's take a look at the energy first, see what's going on. And then we'll take it from there for this Capricorn, October, no contact, love, tower reading. So we have justice showing up first. Chariot. Two of swords. Ten of pentacles. Hmm. Two of cups. And the seven of cups. So it looks like... Um, there's some confusion here. So right away what I was feeling with this justice card, say this person, um, it could, I mean, it could be you or them, so take it out, it resonates. Somebody, it looks like perhaps they moved on from a divorce, but there's still some blockages here with the Two of Swords. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles can speak of marriage or commitment, so that could be the relationship between the two of you. Like, yeah, there's been moving away from, say, a divorce or something like that, but there's still, it's like this person moving forward with still having some blockages from a past situation, a legal situation, a divorce or something like that, moving into like another commitment. So it could be like maybe this person moved into a relationship commitment with you, but they just got out of, say, an ending of a commitment or a marriage or something. So there were still some blockages surrounding that because the union is right here with the Two of Cups, and then we're left with this, a lot of other things going on, which leads to a lot of illusion, confusion, just kind of clouding up um, the energy. And you kind of see here the narrow pathway, things constricting and being clouded up. So that's kind of what I see. 
if that resonates. So if that resonates, perhaps, you know, you, you know, got into a connection with this person and realized, you know what, they moved into the connection with me out of that situation, but there's still a lot of things that were not cleared up. So, you know, you could have stood your ground here with the Two of Swords and made that decision to stand your ground. You kind of see that person doing that with their foot on the stone, like kind of standing up, putting their foot down uh, and saying, look, you know, you got to clear these things up before you can just come, you know, <laughs> barreling in here into a connection with me. It's kind of what I see here. So let's see, we have, we have a Libra season right now. So this could be going on right now, uh, but, or things could be changing right now during Libra season. We also have Cancer showing up. All right. So let's see how they're feeling. Because you kind of see this person turning their, what they think they turn their back on something that they're free of, but they're not really. There's still a wolf behind there. So it's like, there's still some things that are lurking behind the scenes that... Maybe this person, you know, figured, well, it'll just go away or it'll clear up on its own or, you know, it'll be fine. You know, it's going to clear up with time. But, you know, a lot of times you got to clear up your life and your energy before you move into something new. I mean, it's just the way it is, right? Okay, Capricorn. So let's see how they're feeling now about this whole situation. Let's see how they're feeling now about this whole situation. What are they feeling now about this whole situation? Capricorn. You know, injustice is soul contracts, past life, things meant to be, truth, clarity, justice, balance, universal law and order, doing the right thing. Queen of Wands. Two of Wands. Okay, yeah. Let me get these out. Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. Six of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. So I definitely feel like here, I mean, that Knight of Swords reversed turns into the slowest knight, which would be the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like what they feel now is you probably stood your ground with the Queen of Wands here. You know, stood your ground, said it like it was kind of energy. And I see this Two of Wands, this person... Like making that decision to choose the path ahead, but be still being tied. I don't know if you could see that tied and bound to other things in a way or energies. Not necessarily that they were still in me. Maybe they were still in another situation and maybe they said, yeah, I'm getting out of that. But, you know, it's fine. Or, you know, they got out of it and they're like, oh, yeah, it's fine. But it really was that there was still some things that needed to be closed up uh, before they were fully unbound from it. Because you see this person looking ahead and choosing the path to the person that they feel that connection, that fire, spark, chemistry with. But there's still Seven of Swords behind it, which there's a lot of other things going on that probably aren't good that still need to be cleared up. That, you know, very stressful. Nine of Swords, unbalanced. Six of Pentacles reversed. Knowing that, okay, maybe I should have taken my little more time with this before moving forward. Instead of just kind of barging forward with the fire and passion with the Knight of Wands reverse. So yeah, this person knows they should have taken their time more, not rushed into it, perhaps with you. Because I know things weren't fully in balance for them. There were still some stressful situations going on that they still were bound and tied to. That they were just kind of avoid avoiding and not really wanting to deal with or yeah, be dealt with in time. Not a great energy with the Seven of Swords. So they could have been dealing with somebody here very, uh, you know, like a lying, cheating, stealing kind of energy. I don't feel like it's them or you. I feel like it's because this Two of Wands is tied, still tied to this negative, toxic energy that still needed to be cleared up. But they let their fire, passion, desire for the connection with you get the better of them. And now they know, yeah, well, yeah, I should have waited. I should have waited. But... You know, I do see you kind of standing your ground here, like we said. Aries, uh, Sag showing up. So let's see how they're feeling about you, Capricorn. Let's see how they're feeling about you. Now, I don't see your energy showing up here yet, so I feel like this is them. So let's see, Capricorn, how they're feeling about you. 
How are they feeling about you? Oh, well, there you are, Capricorn. Speak of the devil. <laughs> and there it is. Oh, my God. Okay. There you are. Okay. Knight of Cups. So, yeah, the other thing about you. Ten of Cups. Knight of Swords reversed. Again, the Knight of Swords, too, turns into the slowest knight. Lovers in reverse. Now, the lovers, definitely there's the disconnect right now between the two of you, which, you know, they are feeling a little lack, lonely right now because of the whole situation, maybe even struggling financially, especially if they've gone through something like legalities or divorce and, you know, maybe they're struggling financially right now. That's also about change. It is a five. But how they're feeling about you is, yeah, they feel the dis disconnect between you right now with the lovers in reverse. And also the lovers uh, was also originally called the choice. Originally. So six is, uh, lovers reverse gives me that energy. Yeah, I know I made the wrong choice. We're disconnected right now. I'm feeling the lack, the loneliness, possibly struggling financially. Knight of Swords reverse. Charles of the Knight of Pentacles. Very, very slow moving energy. Yeah, I know I should have took my time. I made the right cho wrong choice. I'm feeling it now. All I want to do, though, right here, the devil, that's you. I want to move forward with my Capricorn. Love, emotions, feelings, into the Ten of Cups. Like a total like relationship or commitment or whatever right away. Uh, when, you know, you should take it slow. Knight of Cups is kind of like the second to the slowest knight. Uh, in the deck would be the Knight of Cups and then the Knight of Pentacles definitely the slowest so they should have took more time went into it slowly courting, dating, getting to know after their energy clears up before full going full blown towards you with uh, a relationship is kind of what I feel here so yeah they just wanted the fulfillment right away whole nine yards right away with you and they know they made the wrong choice because there's other, like, devil can be toxic energies that they were dealing with had to tie up. Oh, let's see. We got Capricorn. You're right there. We got Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, they, they do want to move this forward to you with the Knight of Cups. There definitely is a lot of love here. They want that complete fulfillment with you. With the Ten of Cups. Just have to fix my chair here. So they do want to fix things, um, but let's see what are they doing right now, Capricorn, that you need to be aware of. What are they doing right now that Capricorn needs to be aware of? What are they doing right now? All right, so what are they doing right now that Capricorn needs to be aware of? Ace of Wands. Wheel of Fortune reversed. The moon. Okay. What else? Page of Swords. Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's still some things weighing them down here. But things are balancing out with the Temperance card. So they're working through all their things right now. All the remnants left over from whatever uh, they were going through that they had to close up. So that's why they're kind of staying put. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Okay, I'm not going to move forward. Yeah, I want this fiery, passionate, exciting new beginning of love, passion, everything with my Capricorn. But I do realize I need to stay put. I can't move things forward until what things balance out with the Temperance card to have this, this true soulmate connection in the best way possible. You know, that's massive healing. Patience. So they need to be more patient, obviously, and balanced. Peace, harmony, joy, love, light, soulmate connection, alchemy. The right when it's the right time, they have to be patient, balanced. Ten of Wands. Still, some things are dealing with right, right, right here that are, need to be released. Page of Swords. So that could be getting the clarity, the legalities cleared up. That could be checking on your social media, wanting to communicate. They may communicate and say, "Okay, I'm just going to keep my distance until all this is cleared up, and then we can be together." Finally, realizing, you know, I should have done that in the first place. And, you know, maybe you were excited for this, too, and realized, okay, you're going to jump in. And then realized, oh, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, no. <laughs> but let's see. We do have uh, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius. We are just a few months away from Sagittarius season. 
We got that twice here. All right, and, and I kind of see the Ace of Swords here too with this Page of Swords. All right, so let's see how things are going to change. Maybe get a little bit of a time frame, perhaps. They definitely were not patient. Definitely were not patient. And they did not get rid of their excess baggage first. That they were still tied to, but they thought it would be fine. And obviously, there was a lot of things that um, couldn't see. Kind of kept in the shadows, or maybe they kept it hidden, or didn't really tell you the truth of everything going on in their life right now. Say, so, oh yeah, it's just going to be fine. Yeah, you know, it's going to be all cleared up and fine when really now it's still some work to be done here. And they know that. They were, I think, just too excited to be, um, you know, in the relationship with you. To be with you, but... Okay, Capricorn. So let's see how will things change. If it does resonate or you are enjoying this, Capricorn, please do like, comment, all the great things. Be greatly appreciated. Oh, the King of Pentacles. King of Wands. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Match to the Queen. There's no doubt your attraction to each other. There's that stuck energy with the Eight of Swords, though. Queen of Cups. There is a lot of love here. Nine of Cups reversed. Hermit. Yeah. Hermit. So, I'm still getting this withdrawn energy. Like, you know, wouldn't it be fulfilling as it should be right now if they if you come together? So there's still some stuck energy here, retraction of energy. Um, but I do see a single energy here. So I do feel like this person is out of their situation. There's still some loose ends. It's kind of what I wanted to say. That need to be tied up, that they're still tight too, if that makes sense. But they do have a lot of love here. Just like this energy here too is that exact same energy. But we do have the stability, the foundation, loyalty, trustworthy, fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. So, I mean, if we had all four kings here, it would be the emperor. Um, it's king of pentacles. Definitely could be you, Capricorn. I mean, for me, it's Virgo, but it definitely could be you. We have the match. Definitely fire, power, couple here. And a lot of love with the queen of cups, too. There's no doubt there is a lot of love here between you or they have for you. They could be a business owner, entrepreneur, leader, some sort of way. Maybe even work in finances. But we have Virgo here twice. Or like I said, it could be you too, Capricorn. Leo, Cancer. I'm going to clarify top and bottom of the deck. See what else we need to know before we get into our Archangel cards. Three of Wands. Looking out to the future could be very soon. Ace of Swords. Yeah, definitely there's that no communication contact right now. A lot of things being cleared up still. And it could be, be, be revolving around commitments, marriages, maybe even around uh, home and that kind of energy. But that's also commitment. Nine of Pentacles. Single energy. I do feel like this person single. I do. Six of Cups. But they're still dealing with something from their past. Could be children involved as well. Page of Cups. That's why they haven't come forward yet. But there's massive healing here. Enlightenment, growth, expansion, healing, positivity, everything positive with the sun, pure enlightenment. And then the King of Swords is definitely somebody divorced. Truth, clarity, communication, setting the record straight. Look at that. We do have three kings now. King of Swords, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. They're all upright. Only one missing is the King of Cups. Um, if we do get that, that is the Emperor. So I think they're doing it the right way now. Let's see what's on the bottom. Oh, I just saw the King of Cups. <laughs> just saw so we've got the Page of Pentacles reversed. Again, I'm not coming through that offer until I know it's right. I'm going to take my time, be patient. I'm not going to rush. And there's the King of Cups. So this person stepping into their Emperor-empowered energy. Is a lot of love here. King, Queen of Cups, King, Queen of Wands, fire, passion, love. Yeah, they're sad, lost, and lonely without you. But I need to end all things, end all ties, using that site to do that. Ending the conflict. And then we can have our solid, stable, grounded, new beginning together. There will be a re resurrection. Final judgment calls put into place. 
and the new cycle can start with the world. Wow. Wow. Okay, we have, this is Capricorn right here, Page of Pentacles in reverse. So definitely, they're keeping their energy from you until all this is cleared up. And then I see a solid new beginning happening here. All right. We're going to get you some Archangel cards here, Capricorn, and we're going to see what's going on. Also, everything you do need to know is down below in the description box, as well as my website. And you can check all that out if you would like to. All right. Capricorn. So Archangel cards for Capricorn. Courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Yeah, I do think you did that. Wow. That de definitely gives me kind of like Leo energy. Oh, my God. I can't even hold on to the cards. Healthy lifestyle. Yeah, so they are making their uh, life more healthier um first before returning back to you which is good could be very sensitive situations going on for them sensitive sensitive people topics things going on also knowing the energies right now are very sensitive you are ex extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and your feelings all right what else that's way too many all right, one more. Uh, Capricorn. Okay. Passion. Yep, we talked a lot about that too. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Yeah, so renewed. I just feel like, yeah, renewed sense of life for this person. More healthy, which is what you want, right? Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, creative child of God. You are very loved. So there is a lot of love here no doubt about that and underneath that we have relationship harmony so i feel like capricorn um they may have lost themselves along the way too through all of this in their situation um wanting to be with you and not really thinking clearly so that could have been part of it too but i do see them now doing the right thing and we had all four kings which is the emperor energy did we have the empress here no but we did have the queen of wands which is pre-empress energy basically Right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you do need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.